Okay, back again here. We're working with a CB350 cam holder again, and the question I want to answer today is another frequently asked question that we have. And that question is, will vapor honing remove RTV sealant from a piece or silicone or any other gasket sealer? Um, that you might experience on these vintage bikes and the answer to that question is uh, no it will not remove RTV sealant um, it may move, remove small traces that are that are not attached very well to the piece um, but for the most part it will not touch that it's just going to brush right over the top of it um, it's too um, it's too rubbery it's too soft um, and of course the, the, the vapor honing process is too passive to, to, to pull that material off. Um, it's just not going to blast it away uh, like sandblasting would, uh, which is again good for what we're trying to do here. We're trying to preserve this piece and, and save this part. So the best recommendation that I have to remove RTV sealant um, is in a vapor honing system is to just simply scrape that RTV sealant away um, with either a flat flat blade, a bladed razor or a, a small screwdriver um, that you can can use without damaging the piece of course and just gently remove that that RTV sealant and then proceed to put that into the machine so that's what we're going to do here we're just going to take a very small tip screwdriver and uh, we're going to scrape this material away and then we're going to put this in the machine and show you how it can clean this surface. Also at the same time we'll talk about the sealing surface here. Uh, most of you know that um, these engines can leak uh, predominantly from the top end, uh, particularly from this side cover here. Um, a lot of people ask, will this damage a sealing surface? and it will not damage a sealing surface. Uh, we're going to clean the surface extremely well. We're not changing the existing surface. We're just cleaning over the top of it. Again, we're following the topography of this surface. So any peak or valley, any gouge, any scratch, we're going to clean it. We're going to clean it extremely well. We're going to clean in the bottom part of it. We're going to clean on the top surface. and. Uh, yeah, you're going to have a nice part for reassembly. Uh, so let's zoom out so you can see this piece. And of course, this is the piece where the, the, tuck, the tack actually go, comes into uh, the engine. And uh, yeah, let's clean the face of it up. Let's remove this RTV sealant from this part um, that someone has previously put on this piece and uh, show you what you can do with this machine. back after blasting. This is the uh, the finish that uh, 
you can get every single time uh, with this machine. We were able to remove the remaining traces of our TV sealant. Um, as you probably remember, the RTV sealant was actually uh, on kind of a thin film. You could kind of see it. It was red there on the face or the ceiling uh, surface of this part. Uh, kind of somewhere around in this area here, it was a bit red. Um, and of course, we had some of these holes here and kind of down here. So again, we just took a, uh, a screwdriver there and um, kind of picked out the RTV sealant. We didn't scrape the ceiling surface at all. It was such a very thin film that uh, uh, we weren't really worried about that at all. We knew the machine could pull that off. And again, that's something that you're going to come accustomed to over time. You're going to, you're going to know what it will and, and will not remove. And uh, no harm done if you have to pull it from the machine and uh, you know scrape or pick at some parts and pieces and put it back in the machine and then go at it again. Um, but again, you can just see how, how clean and and smooth the ceiling surface is too on top of that because that's another thing we talked about uh, before we blasted the surface was how smooth the part would be, um, how unchanged the ceiling surface is after vapor honing apart and uh, we did this in probably uh, maybe under a minute and um, that's just the face of the piece. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, and finish cleaning this part up here in a few minutes but uh, as you can see this is pretty much a junk part now uh, the camshaft has really uh, done a number on this particular piece here uh, due to a lack of oiling. Um, many people know that's a very common issue with the CB350 twin. But um, yeah, back to it. We were able to remove the RTV sealant. Uh, we did not change the sealing surface at all and just get a really great looking finish. Something that resembles cloud silver Honda paint. Uh, but it's it's totally bare aluminum. Um, we did this with a very fine mixture of glass bead and water. No no chemicals at all whatsoever to do this. Uh, very easy, very simple, very fast, and very cost effective. Uh, most people are going to be able to go at least a month um, before changing their abrasive out of the machine. Um, doing you know fairly dirty engine parts and pieces. Uh, you may have to change the water before you change the abrasive and uh, the way we have the equipment set up you can change the water without pulling the abrasive from the hopper <clears throat> so very simple procedure to do but that's something we can cover in a later video but this is what you can expect every single time uh, by using the vapor honing process so stay tuned for more